ABC 10 News starts now. Summer is in full swing, but in a little more than a month, students will be getting ready for the beginning of the school year. For, uh, for those children starting kindergarten, it's a big step, and there, of course, can be a lot of jitters, but one local institution is helping them get ready. The Please Touch Museum is holding its annual kindergarten mixer Saturday night. For more, we're joined by the museum's associate director for family learning, Alice Skogluski. Uh, we welcome you, Alice. Thank you for Hi. coming in. Absolutely. Uh, kindergarten with mixers. Now, I've had uh, teenage kids. I know about mixers, but kindergartners, explain this. Well, it's an event that the museum has every August. This year, it's Saturday from 6 to 8.30, and families can come for free, but they have to pre-register online at the museum's website. Um, this is the 13th annual kindergarten mixer, um, and families get to come to the museum for an evening of different programming that basically celebrates this important milestone in a child's life and also gives them an opportunity to practice some of those school readiness skills that they're going to use when they go to school. Yeah, and it's already a, you know, kind of a chaotic time for kids and for parents mm -hmm. letting their kindergartners uh, go off to school. But the kindergartners that are, that are registered, they're, that are coming, they're going to be presented with a special gift, right? Yes, absolutely. We have um, while supplies last, a special backpack for the this kids. This is the backpack? To, yeah. And there's a, lot of, like. yeah, there's a lot of treats inside. There are some books and some school supplies as well as a kindergarten t-shirt and also um, a couple of little playful things too of course. That's very nice. The kindergartners love to you know get ready to feel like big kids when they've got the backpacks. Now mm -hmm. uh, there's been so many cuts of course we understand that uh, you know in school systems but the Please Touch Museum uh, is sort of helping bridge the gap a little bit. Tell us about that. Yeah absolutely because um, so many schools especially had to cut a lot of the arts programming, um, the museum it really helps to fill that need. We have lots of visual art as well as performing arts programming, as well as the really important link of experimenting and learning in a non-traditional environment really helps to support those skills that kids can learn in a more traditional environment. Things like problem solving and self-control, self-monitoring, those things are really developed when a child has some time to explore and play um, in in a little more looser, open-ended environment that's very child-directed. I love the Please Touch Museum because we mm -hmm. bring our kids who are about those ages uh, that we profile on Wednesday's Child. So they're a big fan of those, and so I'm a big yeah. fan of the Please Touch Museum. Once again, the Please Touch Museum's Kindergarten Mixer, Saturday at the museum from 6 to 8.30 p.m. It's all free, but registration is required, so you got to do that. For more information, just go to our website at NBC10.com. Alice, thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate thank you. it.